Good morning and welcome to another little mini vlog. This is going to be a really fun day and I thought it would be so fun and I've had it requested that I share any sort of me going to work makeup gig type stuff. I can't always do that because a lot of times it's brides or just people who don't really like to be on camera, but I know for a fact that the person that I am going to go do makeup and hair on today is a friend of mine and she's rebranding her skincare line. It's West Coast Willow Skincare. You guys know that when I had my little store, that was the skincare that I carried. It's also available for sale on my website. So if you wanted to shop her stuff, it's all organic, local made to Seattle. She is an esthetician. Her products are amazing. I can't say enough about them. All of her bottles and packaging is getting rebranded. So she's doing a photo shoot. Yeah, so we're gonna go and, uh, drive up to her house. I'm gonna do hair makeup. Um, obviously I'm gonna be like focusing on what I'm doing so I'm not gonna be too concerned about the camera. This is when I wish I had like someone with me that could film everything so I could just focus on what I'm doing. Hopefully Nicole is totally fine with me shoving a camera in her face but she's gonna be you know getting her photo taken all day so I already texted her and said hey model off duty like giving her a hard time and the whole day is just gonna be a lot of fun so I'm really excited about it. I get to play with gold leaf we're gonna do a really neat gold leaf effect on her face and i might even put some in her hair speaking of which yes i put some extensions back in and i left them really long so look at how long my extensions are they don't even fit in camera i put in a set two sets of extensions so i have 40 wefts right now in my hair tape and extensions and i do have a full video of how i do my extensions and a blog post on which ones i use and what links and it's just really affordable it was like a hundred and like 140 bucks 120 bucks to do a full set of extensions myself at home i do recommend going to a specialist if you can but if you can't afford it and you're like me you just can't sit in a chair that long and would much prefer to just do it yourself then you can do it at home it is possible uh, but I always recommend going to somebody first because it is, you know, not good for your hair. But my hair's been okay, so I'm not going to say it's bad for your hair either because it's been fine. So really quickly, the outfit that I'm wearing, this is one of those dresses that I upcycled. It had one of those weird bibs across the top, like a kind of, it looked like a dress a teacher would wear. It had like apples on it and definitely not something that I would wear. So I took the bib off. It also had crazy shoulder pads. I took those off. This was attached to the the bib so I took it off the bib and sewed it on the side so that I could have little strap and then I added the ruffle to the bottom so this is an upcycle this is a dress that I've like kind of reimagined into something that I love and I know I would wear and I just right now I just because it's spring and it's still a little bit chilly out I've really been loving these longer line dresses like these maxis um, and then I have on my cowboy boots and I just looked up the brand of these boots and to see what a brand new pair of these would cost because I got them for 20 five bucks at value village and i was just curious like how much do these cost in real life if you were to buy them brand new these are 160 dollars if you get them brand new and i got them for 25 dollars with the tag still on i just cannot believe my luck with thrifting sometimes it's just wild anyway i need to get going this is all of my stuff packed up i need to put all of the hair stuff in a bag and get on the road No in between. <laughs>
walking back through the park from the shoot. I got so much footage of everything, so I'm excited to look at all of it because we went in so many little nooks around this park. I'm excited to see. But we're gonna get back to the car. That was so fun. I, lo I live for these types of things. Photo shoots and like cool photography and video. I love it. I definitely belong in this field of like creative, like hair, makeup, outfit styling, photo shoots, like cool collaborations. This is where I belong. I've been in this kind of industry of things for a really long time. I've been doing it since the days of pinup back when I was like really into it. And I just really enjoy it. I would love to do, do more stuff like this, more projects like this. Anyway, uh, I'm going to head home and get some food. Cool story, bro. Do I like that or do I not like that? I can tell if I like that. <laughs> Hi, it's the next day. I just got a delivery and I wanted to sit down with you and go through it all. And then my husband and I are going to head out for some brunch and some housey type errands but there is this place called farm 12 that i have had on my list of places to go see because they have apparently a lupine field next to it i just think it would be so cool to go and check it out and get some photos i'm not sure if lupines have is that how you say it is it lupine or lupine lupine sounds wrong <laughs> we'll say lupine i don't know if they've started blooming yet i would imagine because they look so similar to a bluebell that maybe they have. I looked it up and it says they bloom in late spring. At least I'll go and check it out. And the place has a, it's like a farm that has a restaurant on site so you can get brunch. And then there's also a huge plant nursery. We're going to get in as much as we can. I want to do all those things, but sometimes time, you know, you have to get back and kind of get over it. <laughs> so we'll see how much of that we can knock off the list. I'll show you my outfit here in a minute. I am finally wearing the Tommy Hilfiger blazer that I got when I was on my vacation last time. So what I have is a bag full of stuff from a company called Cider. It's new to me, but it pops up on my feed constantly. And I think it's because they have a lot of the cottage core kind of aesthetic. They have, it seems to me, almost every aesthetic. So I started to worry. I had already placed the order and just based off of what people are saying and the reviews and just the look of it, I was like, this place looks really cool. It look, And it has so much fashion that I like. Didn't really think much of it. It was so affordable. People kept talking about how good the quality of the clothing was at the price that it was and I'm just thinking okay sold and they have a lot of people sending in photos and reviews of the clothing and then I googled it and I'm like oh no is it just like Shein <laughs> I think it might be just the same as Shein I said in my last video that I was going to stop shopping from places that I feel like the fabrics and the quality of the fabrics and the things that they put in their fabrics aren't good for us and I started to worry about that because I'm like, I don't really want to promote stuff unless I know more about it. I also know that like affordable clothing is important too and not everybody wants to buy thrift clothes. You know, this is the debate that goes back and forth. Like, yeah, thrift is great, but sometimes it's nice to have new stuff too. So that's why I like to shop at H&M and why I like to shop at, shop at Cider because I don't always want things that are already out of fashion. Sometimes I want things that are currently in fashion. Anyway, that's my spiel. I just want people to know that I'm aware of it. So the first thing that I got, and I'll have some cutaways here, trying them on. So these are lightweight enough to where I feel like they still look good spring. I'll probably have to not wear them in the summer as much because that's a little much, but spring, autumn, winter, I can wear these and it's still spring for another month. So I'll get some good use out of those. I need like really good spring transition clothing. So I thought what better than a sweater with no sleeves. So we got a little sweater vest with spring tulips on it. How adorable. This pink sweater with the ruffle sleeves. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. I do. I love it so much. Look at the inside. It's got this like, see, I just feel like the quality of their clothing is the one thing that people say the most about it. And like, I like the label even. I just, I find it to be really cute. I don't know. I feel like for the price that you get things, it's a good price and feels really nice. Love this so much. I thought that even would be cute with the plaid pants. 
Now we have some garden pants, some gardeny floral. These are really lightweight, which is perfect because I wanted something that's just a nice, almost linen feel. So if it's a warmer, sunny day out, I can pop these on with a tank top. Oh, these are so adorable. They gave me like a kind of 70s feel, you know? Look at this dress. It's like a little Victorian slip dress. Look, look. So we've got doilies for, for straps. It's like giving doilies. Uh, then we have some lace around the bust. And then it has that almost like Victorian couch swirling fabric. It's so flowy. And then the bottom. Look. Ugh. Is this not so romantic? That's what I feel like this dress is. It's romantic. I wanted a travel outfit. <laughs> something really comfortable and cute to wear while we are traveling so this is a blue just cozy tank top hopefully these oh these are really nice again with the really bell bottomy bell bottom but these are really heavy and I don't know why but like when it comes to sweatpants and bottoms I just like them to have a little thickness to them especially if you don't want them to be see-through pockets very important drawstring these are great. So a little matching set. Definitely we'll wear some sneakers with it. Maybe like a baseball cap. This is almost like a bathing suit top style uh, material, but it's just a ruched strapless top here. And it has that rubber band that holds it on. I don't know. I just grabbed it because I, it looked really good on the model and it sold me on it. And then the last thing, this would be cute with those pants too. Just a simple vanilla colored tank. So this originally I put in my basket to go with these. Oh, cute. It says a gift for you to improve your shopping experience. It's a tape measure. How adorable. You know what? I need a tape measure to just pop in my purse so that I always have one on hand. So I'm going to use this guy. I also just wanted to mention really quickly on my eyes. I have the Natasha Denona palette that I got in my Ipsy, the alloy palette. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes. I only have, these are wild because they go darker. They look darker than they are in the palette. So when you put this on, I thought I had accidentally dipped into the brown because as I was putting it on, I was like, whoa, why is this so dark? So this goes on really dark, this orange color, but I'm wearing this all over the lid, this on my brow, and then the gold, I just popped over top the center of my eye. So it's a little bit of a, um, you know, I don't know what to call this. I feel like I call everything smoky. <laughs> it's not a smoky orange eye <laughs> and I have no eyeliner or anything on. And then on my lip, I'm wearing the Makeup Forever liquid lip. I thought I brought it over here, but I guess I didn't. Anyway, that is it for now. We're gonna go to the farm and go drive around the farmland. So I'm excited to do that today with you. I'll show you my outfit. That was long. Hopefully I go through that fast in editing. Here's the final outfit. I'm wearing a who, what, where dress, a thrifted Tommy Hilfiger blazer, thrifted Louis, thrifted cowboy boots, and a hat from H&M, I think. Lovely. Lyle said I look like I'm going to the Derby, <laughs> which I think is going on right now. Hoodie on hoodie. Hoodie on sweat. <laughs> layers on layers. Welcome to the PMW in spring. We just stopped at the gas station really quick and then we're going to head to Watson's, which is the plant store. It's like a big plant nursery. And we have a reservation at Farm 12 for some brunch. So I can't wait. I've been wanting to try this place. And apparently it's a really beautiful property. So fingers crossed, something's blooming. I don't even care if it's bluebells, which I have too many of already in my house, but I'll take anything with color and spring vibes, especially with the outfit. And uh, hopefully find some plants because we're trying to do, oh, that's loud. We're trying to do uh, a little gardening today. That's the plan after we get back. So we'll see. Watson's, the biggest nursery in town. She's a biggin. A royal raindrop flowering tree. Crab apple. What is 
it? Look at the shape of it. It's like a scarecrow with its arms out. Oh, wow. Yeah. Honey crisp. I love the look of that. Wow, that's neat. You know what though? Some, sometimes those, um, some trees like this, if you'll read the tag, I'm not kidding. It says the height. It'll say like, uh, I love mulch. Like it helps. Them. Oh yeah. Weeping elm. See like right here. These are cool. I love this weeping elm though. I love anything that weeps. <laughs> Stunners, stunners. Well, not all of them can be winners. Not all of them can be winners. I am making breakfast. We just tried, we went to Watson's, which was great, and we were gonna shop around. Getting in and out of that parking lot was a little bit of a nightmare and actually really quite stressful. There's people everywhere, there's cars everywhere, trying to get in and out. When we were kind of finishing up, like thinking about what we're gonna get, we got the ping that our table is gonna be ready. So we felt like, oh crap, we can't wait in line. The line to get plants was so long. So we got in the car and raced five miles down the road to Farmhouse 12. There was an event going on. People were parking in the grass. It looked like a festival. <laughs> it looked like a straight up festival. And we tried walking up to even get to the restaurant. There's just hordes of people everywhere. I personally can't do that much crowd and congestion and chaos. My husband definitely can't. He's actually fine. He went and like got himself something to eat in the kitchen and then just went out and started mowing. I'm frazzled. My nerves are a little bit on edge. I'm gonna eat myself something. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. We haven't had anything to eat yet, but we did at least have a really lovely time walking through the garden where all the plants are and just kind of deciding what we want for our house because we do want a couple of trees. We want to plant a couple of trees and we want um, definitely more plants around. They're expensive, uh, but it was just nice to look. I had a lovely weekend with you guys. I hope you had fun with me too. I'm starting to get some of the photos trickling in, but if you want to see any of the photos from the shoot, I'll link uh, West Coast Willow Skincare and Dondra's photos. Uh, her Instagram below and um, that way if anybody wants to go check out her work her stuff is so amazing it really does like invoke an emotion in you when you look at it it's just very dreamy and ethereal and cool and it's just really nice uh, photography so go check her stuff out go check out Nicole and her skincare and all of that I mean I obviously have it available on my website but you can also just shop it directly from her she's got all new skincare bottles coming in. I got to see the bottles when we were doing our makeup and they are so nice. So yeah, I had a really good time. Fun weekend. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.